my name is Mrs. Lies. Welcome to Pre-K-1. I'd like to speak to you a little bit about um, what a typical day is like here in my classroom. The children enter the classroom at about 8.20 in the morning. They come to this area, hang up their coats. Their backpacks stay open at this point in the year. They take out their lunches, their snack bags, and their folders. So in the beginning of the year, it's not quite as independent but by now, they are doing it. They also put up their names with their pictures attached up onto the attendance board, which is right there. Then they go off to their desks to do some morning work while they wait for the rest of the children to come in. At their desks, they generally sit down to do a coloring sheet, which corresponds to the letter of the week. After the children color, if there is enough time before we get to circle time, they have individual bags with toys in them that they play with at their desks. So in the morning, we're really gearing up. Not only are we waiting for everyone to come in, but the children don't realize it. They're getting their muscles ready. They're getting their fine motor skills honed up for the rest of the day. When the children are finished with their work at their desks, we start our circle time. Of course, we start circle time with our prayers in the morning. Uh, we say the Our Father, we say the Hail Mary prayers. We move on to the um, Guardian Angel prayer, the morning prayer, and eventually we'll get to the glory day. After prayers, to start talking about the days of the week, about the calendar. So we talk about the day, um, and then we move on from the day to the month of the year. Now with the days of the week, though, we always sing our famous song, uh, there are seven days in a week. The children love to count that out. And then we also talk about and sing about our months of the year, and then we move over the year to actually the calendar so that the children can count. children have work to do in their handwriting books. Um, in the beginning of the year, I work with the children individually. Then we move to small groups, which we are pretty much at now. And then at the end of the year, it's going to be the whole classroom working together, just like they would in kindergarten. So we really try to prepare them to become more independent in pre-K so that they're ready. So, um, my goodness, with this program, we not only utilize various materials, there are um, wooden pieces that the children use to put the letter together. Um, we have stories. There is a song that they love. Where do you start your letters? At the top. Um, 
And in the beginning of the year, we also uh, used Mat Man, we talked about bodies, but he's also these wonderful pieces that are all corresponding to the Handwriting Without Tears program. Um, the children also bring in a picture for our wall collage, and you'll see the many pictures here that the students have brought in this week to correspond with the letter D. The last part of circle time is a read aloud. And the read aloud either corresponds to the letter of the week or also from Engage New York in the Common Core curriculum that we follow. Um, we follow the ELA section. Um, and many times there are stories there that we read to the children. This topic that we're talking about now is about animals. So in the beginning of the year, we talk about all about me and we move our way through various things like Native Americans and pilgrims, and now we are up to animals. We also throw in some classic tales there too, um, which are all from Engage New York. Um, also, I might talk about our know, religion. The reason why I say I might speak about religion at the end of our circle time is that maybe we're going to a special and we've run out of time. Um, our specials are gym, music, and art. Uh, we also have a library. But if we do have time for religion at circle or at the end of circle, I'll do it then. If not, it is definitely spoken about and discussed at the end of the day before we leave. Um, so we have a different chapter every week. This week is God Made Light. We talk about God's gifts. And this week is the gift of light. The children usually do a little project that corresponds with the chapter. They will be making a candle and coloring it. And they also have a little homework to take home and color. And it's usually a very, very easy activity that they can do with their parents at home and discuss that particular chapter with them. After circle time, we have center time. So this is the time when the children socialize. We break them up into usually three groups of children and have various stations around the classroom that they move to, probably within about 15 minute increments. Um, during that time is when I work with the children either individually or in small groups. And that could be their handwriting book, that could be um, a math page from Engage New York or something that I found online, um, as well as in an English language arts sheet, you know, focusing more on the letter of the week. Also what's happening is that the children are doing a little project. So this week their project, they have two. D is for donut, which they did today. And, you know, not only is it reinforcing the letter of the week, but they're learning about colors. Um, when they're painting, they don't realize that it's all about by hand coordination, following directions. That's why we do projects in pre-K. We also do projects that correspond with certain stories. So they're going to be starting a project of coinciding with the story Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? So it's all about bringing in the different literature as well as letters, numbers, and things like that. After center time, we clean up our toys and then move to our desk. So the children will then have lunch. Um, they're doing that right now at their desk this year, but in previous years, uh, the children would have their lunch in the cafeteria at the grade school. After lunch, it's recess time. And on a nice day, we have a beautiful playground outside of the junior high next to the big school where the children love to go and play. Um, after recess, they come back in and we have rest time. And then after rest time, either we'll go to a special, like I mentioned before, or that'll be the time where I do a little bit more of the academic work, like religion, um, and or we do music and movement. Uh, we do a lot of free dancing and maybe songs related to the holidays, uh, even to the letters. We do a lot of singing. Um, after that, the music and movement, the children then have snack at the desk. And then it's time for dismissal of 
1.40. The day goes by really, really quickly. We have a lot of fun, and it's all about learning and growing and playing and socializing and always knowing, which I reinforce every day, that we are all special and God loves us and we're in a happy place. If you have any questions that I haven't covered for our little tour here in Pre-K-1, Please join us for a Q&A on February 4th.